Lesson 19, How Computers Affect Our Daily Lives By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify social and economic effects of computers. Take a closer look at this image of a computer lab. It looks clean, quiet, and peaceful. Moreover, in the absence of humans, computers are looking innocent and attractive. In real sense, computers are peaceful machines and honest servants to human beings. They only do what the user commands them to do. Personally, I love computers and whenever I look at a computer, I see a problem-solving machine. Your attitude towards this smart machine will determine what you get out of it. However, people have different thoughts about computers and how they affect our lives. In this lesson, we will discuss the social and economic effects of computers. Computers may become a problem to human beings when they are misused. One of the ways in which humans misuse computers is to commit crimes. These crimes are called cyber or computer crimes. Examples of cyber crimes are information theft, unauthorized access to private information, which is also known as hacking, and online banking fraud. When someone hacks your computer, they may view or steal your private information and damage your computer software. Other computer crimes involve threatening or humiliating someone online. This is called cyberbullying. Examples of cyberbullying are insulting or using bad words against someone or mocking them online. This may happen on social media or through text messaging. You should be aware that it is against the law in Zambia to commit computer crimes. You may be fined or serve a jail sentence if you are convicted of such crimes. One of the fundamental human rights is right to privacy. No one is allowed to access and use our personal information without permission. Using computer systems, cyber criminals may violate our right to privacy by hacking into our computer and steal personal information. Sometimes they use applications that require us to submit our personal information online. Personal information may be used by criminals to access our bank accounts and steal money. To protect yourself from such experiences, install trusted security apps and don't submit your personal information online anyhow. Organizations that store personal information of clients like banks and telecommunication companies 
have systems that protect and keeps the information safe. In both private and government organizations, there are people who may misuse computers to do things like playing computer games, surfing social media platforms, and sending emails to their friends or family. Such acts may expose organizations' information to cyber criminals. For this reason, most organizations have put restrictions that require workers to use computers for work-related operations only. For a long time now, people have depended on computers to do work, communicate, and for other important things. This dependence causes problems when computer systems fail. This usually happens in banks and telecommunication companies. When you experience bad mobile network, it means that there is a system failure. System failures may delay important business transactions and cut us out from communicating with family and friends. System failures may happen if the computer hardware is damaged or if it is not correctly connected. The system may also fail if users enter incorrect data or do anything that may temper with the running of a computer system. Software problems also cause system failures. Lastly, most jobs have been made easier by computers. For example, it is not a must now that secretarial work require one to be very good at typing because they are computer software that can turn voice into text. The other example is that accountants may need less mathematical knowledge because computers can do complicated calculations. This situation is called de-skilling. De skilling is when the amount of skill to do a particular job is reduced due to use of computers. Revision exercise. A. Discuss social and economic effects of computers. B. Suggest at least five things that may help to prevent cyberbullying and loss of information through hacking.
Summary. In this lesson, you learned that computer crimes and misuse, system failures, cyberbullying, and de-skilling are some of the social and economic effects of computers.